was so so Boys ain't making no noise Y'all know I'm a grown boy Y'all play full of bro boy Tie y'all some bro boy Tie y'all some bro boy We GBE though boy We got lots of dough hey. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel If you're new here, hi my name is Chelsea And I feel like I need a soul cleanse After looking at American Horror Story Apocalypse Like can we agree? Because this season was too much. It was such a cluster. It was just something else. Like, I swear, it was too much for me, especially last night's episode, which was the season finale. Um, I have these spirits. I feel like these spirits are upon me. I need to get rid of them. Like, bye. Bye. Anyways, um, today's look was inspired by my headscarf that I'm wearing. It's yellow, has yellow in it, orange, pink, and it's like very colorful. And then I decided to add like purple because you know orange and purple are complementary colors on like the color wheel. So we have this. Okay. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoy. Continue watching to see how I get this look. All right, okay, you guys. I'm starting off with one eye already done off camera. Next, we're gonna go into this eye. Um, for the lid, I didn't prime it with anything. I didn't feel the need to. So we're gonna go straight into the crease using ColourPop's Liquid Lipstick in More Better. Gonna do swirling motions as we go back and forth and really try to blend it upwards. To blend out this color here, I'm going into my Morphe 350 palette and I'm taking these two colors right here and a small blending brush and I'm gonna use that, use this to blend it out. Do swirling motions to blend out these edges, but also like pack on pigment. We're like connecting the colors together as well. Taking a clean blending brush, I'm really gonna blend out the edges even more. Next, going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and uh, Fawn, I'm going to cut my crease using a flat brush. I, can anybody leave some suggestions down below like on a better base like that I can use because it's, this is not nice enough it doesn't it doesn't help my colors be pigmented like it takes me a lot of time and effort to really make the colors show up with my concealer and it's not because my eyeshadows aren't pigmented I feel like it's because my base isn't sticky enough, it's not uh, neutral enough, it's not bright enough. So if you have any suggestions for a new concealer base I can use, leave them down below please. I would greatly appreciate it. Going into my box of crayons palette, I'm taking this yellow color right here and sticking it on the first half of the lid crease. You know, one way, and that's $15. You see? Okay, you see what I mean? Like, even when I use a brush, it goes on patchy. And, like, this is a pigmented yellow. Like, super didn't play when it came to this palette getting still is going on patchy on my lids. And I've come to the conclusion it's because of my base and not the color itself. Now that's, that's on there to somewhat my liking. I'm going back into the Morphe 350 palette and I'm taking this orange shade right here and I'm putting it on in the middle of the crease. Okay, I went off camera and did some finger blending and now I'm going to do the outer third of the crease with the same color I used in the crease cut crease originally just take a couple of dots of this
Let me come on and clean up under here before I get frustrated. Oh, now that the lid is done, I'm going to do my liner. For liner, I'm using another liquid lipstick by ColourPop by So it's called So Wavy. And I'm going to take an angle brush and I'm going to do my wing. Now that my lids are done, I'm going to go off camera, do my lashes and my base, and I'll be right back with highlighting and lips for last. Hey, you guys, I'm back. I went on ahead and did my foundation, and I bronzed off camera using my regular products that I use in every video. So now it's time to move on to the lower lash line. Now it's time to finish off the eye. For the lower lash line, I'm going to use the same two orange colors as before in my Morphe 350 palette. I'm going to smudge it out with the same pencil brush I used to put it on. Now for mascara, I'm going in with my CoverGirl Slashy Blast Pro for the top and bottom lashes. Do I want to put on lashes? Honestly, no, but this look requires lashes. I'm gonna do my lashes off camera and I'll be right lashes back. Lashes are on. She cute. I, I'm, I'm okay. I'm really starting to feel my fantasy. Like, lashes can really take you from like eh to ooh, and that's how I feel. That's how I feel with this look right now. So, to set my face, before I set my face, for blush today, I'm going in with my Master Glaze Face Studio in Coral. For highlighter, I was going to use something else, but I decided to bring out this baby again, La Bronze by uh, Artist Couture, you know, Jackie Ina's collab or whatever. Before I add La Bronze to the cheeks, I'm going to set my face using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Makeup Extender Setting Spray. Okay, for lips, I'm going in with my CoverGirl's Melting Pout Liquid. It's like a liquid lipstick, a gel liquid lipstick. It's in the color Jelly Jelly. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh my gosh, this is pretty. Like, okay. Uh, I will be right back. I'm gonna put on a scarf on my head, do a little slum, and I'm gonna come and do the outro. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm back. This is the finished look. How we feeling? I'm really into this look. Like, even though the yellow is patchy and I blame my base, I still really love this look. Like, this is really pretty and different, and I'm gonna continue to try to do, like, different stuff on my channel. Like... I'm only going to grow from here. Different as in different makeup looks, different content. I got some things stirring around in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Make sure to like, comment, any suggestions down below. Anything positive. Nothing negative. We don't do nothing negative. But keep the comment section positive and make sure to subscribe because that'll help a lot. So, see you in my next video. Deuces.